Hello! Um, today, if you do not notice by the title, I am doing a book review. <laughs> I told myself that I would do more book reviews this year, and so here we go! My first book review! And that is, with the book, Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Z <laughs> by, woo, Francesca Zappia. I recently just got done with this book, um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know how obsessed I've been with this book and how much I loved this book, and so I wanted to come on here and talk about it. Um, I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. So Eliza is this creator of this fantastical world and comic, and she has tons and tons of fans. Um, but the thing is, no one actually knows who um, the real identity of the creator of her comic is. Um, they all just know her as Lady Constellation and they don't actually know her as Liza. And Liza likes it this way. She is a very, you know, it gives her anxiety to just think about people knowing who she is. So, you know, the big, like, moving on with the story thing that happens is her comic's most popular fan fiction writer ends up moving to her high school. And he ends up seeing a drawing of hers for the comic, and while he doesn't instantly assume that she is Lady Constellation, he does know that she is a fan, and um, the two, they start a conversation. It stresses Liza out incredibly, but they end up forming a friendship, um, and then obviously some things go wrong. And this story is a story about mental health, about being a creative person, about relationships, whether it be friends, family, um, romantic. Like, it is such a good book. Um, I am so bad at talking about things I love. I know that. I just get so excited and like, I don't, I can't form other words besides good and great and fabulous. Um, so bear with me. But I really, really loved this book. Um, that, oh, it's just so good. Um, it is a mental health book, so it does talk about depression, anxiety, and suicide. If those are triggers for you, please, please be aware that this can be a very triggering book and I would read with caution. Um, but it is definitely a book that I think everyone should read. And look at me. I even, because I told myself that I would get better at book reviews, I even made a little page in my journal and I wrote down things that I was going to talk about because I am a new person. First thing I really wanted to talk about in this um, story is the representation of creative people. And by creative people, I mean um, artists. Any kind of major that would go to an art school, that's what I identify as a creative. I think that this book really portrays what it's like to be a creative. And I and I think that especially if you're creative struggling, you should read this book because it talks a lot about school life and future careers and you know what are you going to do with your life. And it I think that it touches on a lot of our anxieties as creative people and you know this world necessarily is not the nicest to creative people. They want us around, but they don't want us to succeed. And I think that this book touches a lot on those ideas and, you know, the the anxiety that we all face when it comes to future careers, when it comes to picking the right school, um, do we need to go to school, do we really need this education. I think that it has an amazing amount of creative representation throughout. I think it, it's just, yes. Um, Another thing is with the creative representation, it talks about our inspiration as creatives. And um, I, you know, there, I personally think that there was a lot that I gained from reading this book because I, I am a, currently I am a creative writing fiction major and, but I really want to be an editor. And so, but like being surrounded by people who actually want to be writers is very stressful for me sometimes because I feel like even though that's not necessarily what I want to do with my life, I have to be as great of a writer as these people. I have to all of a sudden have a novel idea and have it written in a month. And I'm not that kind of person and I know I'm not, but, and like while I do still write, I, you know, it's not what I want to do, but I do face a lot of creative um, blocking. I guess you could call it 
and a lot of anxiety just being a creative person. I, I think that in general, like you have a lot of anxiety being a creative. And I think that this book, like one of the main messages in this book is um, you're more important than your story or your art. And I think that that is such an important thing to draw from a story is, you know, yes, I want my writings to succeed and I want my paintings to be this fantastic thing. But my personal health and my mental health are so much more important than what I'm creating and spreading out to this world. And on top of that, I am creating my art for myself and not for other individuals. It talks about how, you know, you do it for you and not for other people. Um, but yeah, another thing that this book talks about is the importance of relationships in your life. Um, and how they can help you get through blocks and help you get through, um, you know, mental health issues and just really help you in the process of healing. This book also touches so much on guilt culture and, and I thought that that was a really nice um, thing to include. I do understand that guilt is a lot of, is um, a main reason behind anxiety and so it did fit in with the fact that Eliza has anxiety but I think that it is also a thing that like people without anxiety can relate to and yeah I just I just really enjoyed this book um, and I the one thing that this book does not touch on though that I was disappointed in is diversity um, I think that you know, we don't have a very diverse cast in this book and I think that uh, I definitely would have liked to see more diverse characters but I think that even without the diversity while it is a super important thing I think that this is still a great book for people who are creatives and people who struggle with anxiety especially um, and depression and I think that while I would have liked more um, diverse characters, I still think that it is a book that we should read as individuals, as people who create things and bring things into this world, and yeah. I really, really, really enjoyed this book and I plan on reading it multiple times in my life and that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this um, book review. I know it might have been just painfully long for some of you, so thank you if you stuck around. Um, but yeah, if you haven't picked up Eliza and Her Monsters, please do. Um, it is a great story, one of my new favorites. Five out of five stars. Yes, please read this book. What is up? But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you guys.